Less than a week after an axe-wielding, ISIS-supporting refugee went on a hacking spree on a German train, another refugee in Germany used a machete to hack a Polish woman to death. He injured two others before being hit by a car and is now in police custody. According to Reuters, the mass circulation newspaper Bild said that the woman was pregnant. The attacker was completely out of his mind. He even ran after a police car with his machete. Reuters also notes that the man had been involved in prior assaults. The asylum-seeking Syrian man had been involved in previous incidents causing injuries to other people and was apparently acting alone, a police spokesman said. The spokesman had no immediate information on when the man arrived in Germany or when the previous incidents took place. There is no danger to anyone else at this time, he said. Let's assume that this attack had nothing to do with Islam or terrorism. Can we conclude that there's no danger to anyone else? Based on the few details we've been given, this man was violently insane, which means that whatever screening process German authorities use to decide which refugees get to come to Germany, being a homicidal maniac just isn't grounds for exclusion. And even after a Syrian refugee had assaulted multiple victims on prior occasions, this wasn't enough to keep him from walking the streets of Germany with a machete. Is a violent psychopath somehow more comforting than a violent jihadi? Germany took in more than a million refugees just last year. Over the past week, we've learned that the officials in charge of screening simply couldn't spot the difference between, on the one hand, peaceful refugees seeking asylum, and, on the other hand, ISIS-supporting jihadis and homicidal maniacs seeking to slaughter people. If the screening process in Germany is thoroughly flawed and can't detect extremely violent individuals, should Germans really think that their leaders are keeping them safe?